Hey friends, welcome back to our homestead. I don't have anything planted in our new greenhouse yet, and I can't do it because I'm missing one critical piece. And if you live in the south and have a greenhouse, you have to have this, or you're not gonna be growing anything in your greenhouse. So come on, let me show you what that is and how to install it. Of course, it's shade cloth, and this is really important in the South because if you don't have this, you're gonna absolutely fry every, everything inside of your greenhouse if you're trying to grow things in the summertime. Now, we've got a 40% shade cloth, and that is good for a lot of different things. They say the optimum for growing tomatoes and eggplants and peppers is a 30%, but we felt that the 40% was a happy medium between everything. Because in terms of like lettuces and leafy greens like that, going a little bit more like a 50 to 60 is appropriate. So we kind of split the difference because we're not gonna buy three or four different shade cloths. All right, let's show you how to put it on. So it's pretty simple. It's just the same exact way as we put our greenhouse plastic on. And if you didn't see how we did that, click on this video up at the top of the screen, which shows you our greenhouse construction. So these shade cloths from Grower Solution, actually you order them through Grower Solution, I believe they come from a different company because you can't get the 10% discount on these. They're really nice. They've got this ribbon along the edge here and all of these nice grommets. So you can actually use several different means of trying to uh, hold this thing down on your greenhouse. And for us, we're going to use paracord. Now you'll notice that I do not have the wind strapping on the top of the greenhouse yet. And that is because a lot of people say that it's better to secure your wind strapping over the top of your shade fabric. So I've left this off. We're gonna put this on after we string the shade cloth over the top. That'll help secure it in place a little bit better. So to get that shade cloth over the top, you're gonna need some paracord and some water bottles. All we're gonna do is tie our paracord to our water bottle, throw it over the top, tie it to our shade cloth, and pull it over. It's pretty simple. Now it's time to secure our shade cloth. We've got some paracord and we've got some screws and washers. Now, as you can see, our shade cloth doesn't come all the way to our hip board. That's just the length that we wanted it. So we're gonna need to tie it to the grommet and then tie it to somewhere else. So for us, we can use those screws and washers and put another one in here. But why wouldn't I just attach it to this strapping here, which guides our roll up side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come underneath here. I'm gonna tie it and secure it to here and then tie it to the grommet. Done, easy. You can use whatever knot you want, whatever secures it the best for you. I'm just gonna put a series of half hitches and that'll be all set. I'm gonna come down here. I have to cut this paracord, but we're just gonna tie it around here and we're done. Let's show you the rest. So shade cloth is on. It's tied down in a few different places, but we're gonna secure it even more by putting the wind strapping on over top of it. And to do that, same as before, we're gonna use a screw and a washer, poke it through our webbing material here, our strapping material, secure it to the hip board, throw it over, cut it, do the same thing on that side, should be nice and secure. So unlike the strapping for the roll-up sides, which goes in a line with each bow, the strapping, the wind strapping over the top goes in the center of your bows. Okay, shade cloths on. I have a few more straps to do, but it's 98 degrees outside right now and I'm a little sick. So that's not gonna happen today. Let's go inside of the greenhouse and check to see how things are because earlier it was about 115 degrees in there, totally unbearable, you couldn't stand in there. Here we go, it is way better in here. I can actually stand in here for more than 30 seconds. We've got that nice 40% shade cloth on the top and that's gonna give us the opportunity to plant in here when it's really hot here in the south. 
I can feel that the intensity of that sun has been really chopped down. It is nowhere near what it was like earlier. So if you've got a greenhouse in the south, you really have to have a shade cloth. Okay, we are almost done with our greenhouse project. What we're gonna be doing next, well, I've gotta do the other door for you. That is one specific project that needs to be tackled on its own just to show everybody how it's done properly. And then we've got our grow beds. We've got the, uh, the corrugated metal grow beds that I purchased from Northern Tool, and I'll talk about that in one of the upcoming videos. How we're gonna do that, we've got some moles over here, so we're gonna show you how to combat all that. All right, we hope you all have a wonderful day. Now go check out this video right here, which is the first video in the series about how to build this greenhouse. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.